All right, Swimming Australia, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do, man. Okay, Swimming Australia is the uh, organisation that runs swimming within Australia. You do a bit of surf time, you do a bit of water time. Yeah. How important is it that you stay strong and, and also flexible? Crucial. <laughs> Can you, <yeah. laughs> Crucial. Uh, first of all, if you're going to um, push yourself to the limits and if you're going to uh, get slammed, basically, you, you want to be able to handle it. The, the more physically fit you are, the stronger you are, and the uh, better flexibility you have, um, then the more you're going to cope with that. Because we are all going to get a beating. We're all going to get a beating, and once you get the beating, you've got to come up and you've got to swim back out. Exactly. The, so if there's a set coming in, well, you're going to spend a fair amount of time underwater. If you're not physically fit, you're not going to be able to cope with that. And uh, you've been training down at the RPM Health Club. How important is strength training to um, improve and maintain swimmers' performance in the water? It's crucial. From my perspective as a swim coach, what we want to do is we want to have good posture for starters. Now if we have good posture, then we're able to maintain good technique and we're able to pre uh, prevent injury, uh, injury. The other thing we want to do is uh, be able to maintain a good streamline in the pool. And you can only do that if you're, uh, I suppose, if you're physically strong. So if you're wading up your, your arm, trying to pull through the water, you, at the same time, you've got to be able to keep your abdominals uh, tight and strong, your body straight and your legs kicking fast. So strength training to us is uh, crucial uh, in our preparation. Listen, it's been a pleasure having you here and thanks for, for taking the time to talk and uh, good luck for all your athletes in London. Thanks, Hayden.